Greetings folks, this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com and we're discussing how to prevent groundhog invasions. As you all may know, if you visited our website or read our Facebook page, we are having an issue with groundhogs. They're coming into this garden that we've surrounded with electrical fencing and yet they're still figuring out how to get in under the fence and access our well, basically everything, tomatoes, okra, squash, peas, you name it, they have pretty well decimated. And we're a little late to the game, but we're still in the experimental mode. Now, one of our readers offered the thought of using these strips, aluminum foil strips, applying to these strips a bit of um, peanut butter, creamy or crunchy, whatever you think works and um, taking these strips and affixing them to the hot line, which would be a, a, a tape. Um, it looks like a piece of tape. Let me show you. Yeah, uh, this, is, this is just string basically, but we'll be attaching this to a piece of, uh, with a piece of foil and um, then placing peanut butter on the outside of it. The theory is that Mr. Groundhog or maybe even some other garden invader will be attracted by the peanut butter. Most animals of that nature are and come up and lick it and get a nice little zap because this will forward the uh, electrical current right down to their little tongue. And we will install these at about, so about 10 foot intervals around the garden, particularly the points that look like uh, they're accessing and report back on you. But um, real simple, just uh, attach your foil and I'm all I'm doing is just wrapping it and pinching it. Right? And then taking a little dab of uh, peanut butter and this is not a waste. This peanut butter is about due to go into the garbage. It's about 10 years old. But here you go. Just put a little dab on there. And uh, hopefully the, the groundhog or whoever decides to raid will come in and uh, get a little zap. And maybe that will teach them not to come around this fence line. We shall see. Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. We look forward to reporting back to you guys. I hope your summer's gone well and that you're not incurring the kinds of um, major devastations we've had recently. And there are reasons for that and we can probably expand on them, but um, hopefully what we're doing here will help you and help you preserve your own garden. Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. So long.